What's up guys and welcome to today's video. In today's video guys I'm going to be teaching you how to paint a certain body panel on your uh, car or truck and how to achieve professional results out of a spray can. Another thing I'm going to be teaching you guys today is how to paint over chrome. Now you probably heard before if you're trying to paint match your vehicle and you're watching this video you've definitely heard before from anybody who's you know experienced all the way down to inexperienced. You can't paint chrome, you can't paint over it, it'll peel and it won't stick blah 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 and and uh, for the most part, that's not very true. And if you've been here before, you've seen my my truck on the channel. That whole truck did not come like that. I painted it uh, myself back a couple months ago. Uh, back about 10 months ago, I painted it all. I painted all the bumpers. Um, they were chrome. I painted the grill. I painted everything. 100% you can you can paint over chrome and uh, you can get it to work. And I'm going to show you guys exactly today how to do that. So the main reason that I'm painting over this bumper um, is because what has happened is I did get some chipping on the back bumper and that is um, all my fault. What has happened was when I reinstalled the plastic cover at the top, um, it was pinching against the bumper and after months and months of abuse stepping on the top of the bumper uh, What has happened is the paint has started to chip So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. So this plastic piece up here um, It wasn't installed right you can see the gap here um, So it's putting pressure down here and it's putting pressure up here. Um, I just didn't install it properly um, so what I'm gonna do today is um, because Obviously you're standing up here. You guys could see a flexing of uh, the top part for instance when you stand um, What it's done what it's done is all the body weight just chipping away chipping away at the paint uh, The rest of the rest of the bumpers in good condition um, Just all at the top here where I would stand um, So I'm going to stand down this entire bumper It's chrome underneath and we're going to do the exact same thing as what I did last time when I painted over the chrome uh, One thing to keep in mind just to make the painting over chrome possible You really really just got to sand it down um, that's all what it comes down to is a lot of people don't they don't want to put in the time and they don't want to put in the effort And that's why they can't achieve the results that they're looking for over top of chrome It's not because it can't be done. It can be done um, It just all comes down to how much time you're gonna spend It obviously is gonna be a little easier for me today because this was obviously painted before so we'll go ahead and we'll sand it down and uh, We'll go from there now I've gotten a couple things today that we are going to uh, be using. Now I'm going to be showing you guys how to achieve professional auto body results out of a can. Now a lot of people may think, oh you need the fancy gun, you need uh, you need all these fancy tools to achieve um, the high gloss and stuff like that and even coat. But these new cans that they have designed guys, actually the Spray Max 2K Clear Glamour, this is what's really making it all happen these days. Um, Guys are spraying this out of cans and you won't even know the difference. I've used this stuff before uh, When painting over chrome, I like to use the Transtar 2-in-1 primer Obviously, I got my uh, wax and grease remover and then I got my uh, two cans of base my base paint I got them mixed up um, I got them mixed up to my uh, to my paint code got a couple tack cloths and uh, that's pretty much all we're gonna be needing for today, along with the sanding paper, and I got some discs as well. Uh, we'll use the air sander and we'll uh, we'll get this all done up. So I've gone ahead, I kind of made my little, uh, kind of made like a little paint booth here before. Um, the last time in my other garage, um, I didn't do something like this when I painted, and I had a lot of mess. I didn't mind the cleanup, um, but I'm gonna try to do this today and see how much it actually reduces the overspray. Um, even when I painted out in the open here before, I had these other cabinets and stuff in my in my garage and the overspray um, did not damage anything in my garage it just fell like white it just fell down like white dust white powder everything was covered in white and I was just able to rinse it all um, with the hose and wipe it all down um, but I'm just gonna try to reduce um, my cleanup today um, by you know surrounding myself in here and just we're gonna kind of see how this goes so I'm gonna throw you guys on the tripod right now we are going to uh, take off all these plastic pieces and once I do that then I'm gonna get straight into uh, sanding this bumper down. All right guys, so something to keep in mind when you're painting chrome, you really gotta go aggressive with the sandpaper. Um, so we're gonna go in first, we're gonna hit it with a, we're gonna hit it with a 60 grit, get all that paint off, and we'll uh, really start getting into that, uh, that chrome layer underneath. <laughs>
Okay, so the bumper is completely sanded. Um, I did go across with the 60, and then I finished up with the, the 100 grit right here. Uh, probably took me an hour and 15 minutes in total. Um, I did about 10 minutes with the 100, and then uh, the rest of the, about the hour or so, I was really just going at it. Um, it turned out really, really good. Um, as you can see, we had all that paint off, and this is what you're gonna be trying to look for. Um, even though I did paint this once before, when you guys do your chrome bumpers, if this is what you guys are doing, you're just gonna wanna sand it down so it's dull like this. Um, once you get this sort of uh, result, um, that's when you guys know uh, where well, there's no shininess whatsoever. But not only just the shininess, when you start seeing the layer of black, come out of the actual uh, uh, the metal, the bumper here, and you're, you're getting a fair bit of it, and it's accumulating down here, um, that's when you're gonna know that you're gonna have a good enough surface um, for the paint to adhere to and to stick, um, so you're not gonna have any issues. So the next step for right here is to pretty much clean up all this mess and then do a wax and grease remover on everything, and then kind of get all this um, set up to paint. But I am going to be doing that in the morning because it is uh, it is pretty late right now. It is midnight, so it's uh, it's pretty much time to go to bed. So I'll see you guys bright and early in the morning, and uh, then we'll get to uh, the next steps of painting this bumper. Well, what's up, guys? It's the next morning, and we are coming out here. We are going to get this thing. Uh, we're going to get this thing painted today. Uh, so I'm gonna set you guys up. I'm gonna go through, we're gonna clean everything. Um, you know, all the dust and stuff um, that's on the table and the floor's gotta be completely cleaned. I'll take the, the bumper out to the driveway. I'll blow it off with the air compressor. Um, the floor, I'll sweep. Um, I'll get all the dust and debris up and I'll probably, uh, I'll probably wet and just wash the floor a little bit. Um, that way we can get all the dust out. And uh, I'm gonna open this side door a little bit so I can run the fan and I'll probably get the dehumidifier. Um, out of the basement. Uh, I have a dehumidifier that I use just for painting, um, so I like to run it just so it's not as humid because it is the summer and I am painting inside the garage. So it tends to get a little bit humid in here. Um, so we're gonna get straight into doing that right now and then uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll talk and we'll go through the painting process. So first things first, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a wax and grease remover. We're gonna go through um, with a cloth and we are going to clean um, thoroughly the bumper, get any wax or grease or contaminants um, that are on it. So that's gonna be our first step to do. We're gonna go ahead and do that right now. So here's the bumper after I've gone through with the wax and grease remover. Um, yes, I did overkill on it. I like to do at least about five, six times. I want to do it till my cloth starts coming out um, clean like that, opposed to black and dirty like that. I want to get all the contaminants off that metal so I make sure I get a nice clean surface. I mean, it's better to take an extra five minutes right now and clean it as much as you can and prepare it the best um, instead of at the end game having to come back with a crappy paint job and having to, you know, respray something um, or just having, a, you know, not too good of results. So that's not going to be the only thing that we're going to do to wipe it down before. Um, if you guys have painted before, you probably know what these are. Tack cloths. Uh, so it's like a, it's like a sticky cloth. 
Uh, it almost feels like glue on your hands, um, but you're supposed to use it um, on the surface that you're using uh, before you paint. Use before you spray, paint, or varnish. So anyways, you're gonna go, you're gonna run the tack cloth all over, and then what this is gonna do is gonna get any dust or debris in the air, it's gonna stick to it, it's gonna cling, uh, because this, this cloth is very sticky. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we'll use that, and I'm just gonna shake up this primer right now, and then, uh, and then we're gonna start laying down our uh, first couple coats of primer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that flash right now, five to 10 minutes. Just very, very light coats. Just did a couple couple passes right now and uh, we'll fully, fully build it up and uh, it's gonna look really good. This is an update on what it's looking like and the primer is absolutely perfectly smooth. Not one dust particle in it whatsoever. And it's looking really, really good. Um, a lot of people say, uh, why you wear gloves? Uh, don't worry about your hands. Um, but the reason why I wear gloves always, at least with one hand, sometimes two, um, especially when you're using a tack cloth, I, I do like to tack in between coats because I wanna make sure there's no uh, debris or particles um, on the surface I'm painting on. Um, but it's the oil, the oil from your skin. Um, you know, it's gonna it's gonna get into the tack cloth, or it's gonna, you know, if you if you touch it in somewhere, you just want you just don't want any oil or contaminants on your surface whatsoever. So that's why I always wear gloves. Also, definitely protects your hands. I don't care about getting paint on my hands, um, but when I'm trying to do a surface like this, I definitely want to uh, take as much you know precaution um, as I can. All right, so it's been a couple hours now, and yes, I got this uh, emblem here off the front. Um, this is gonna be white, and then the outside um, is gonna be black, so I'm just gonna shoot it all in white for now. Um, just changing it up a little bit there. Um, but nonetheless, this is what's going on. Now, I don't have any runs. I don't have any debris in the primer whatsoever. So I'm gonna be able to go ahead and shoot my base over top of this. Um, you can sand it down. Um, you go 800, 1000, uh, 1500, and you can really sand this all the way down and get it perfectly smooth. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I don't need to. I think this is a good base for me. This is the same base I had before, um, you know, when painting, so uh, I'm not too worried about it whatsoever. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna shake up that base can, uh, my Summit White, um, and then I'm gonna give this a really good shake and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start laying down some coats on that bumper. So I have a quick little tip for you guys. Um, basically, a lot of these uh, spray cans right here, the tips are not very good. Sometimes you will get some good tips, but for the most part, um, they do sort of have either a drip that comes out 
or I find they do splatter when I start spraying them when it's splattered, um, but I have the perfect fix for you. Now, this Spray Max 2K, uh, which is this clear coat they sell all over North America. Like I said before, this is your go-to clear coat in a can, exact OEM finish from the factory. Can't tell the difference. So, you're gonna take this cap off right here and you're gonna actually use this spray nozzle on your paint can. You're gonna swap them out, put this on. After you use it a couple times, it'll click it all the way down and uh, you'll get a really, really nice finish from this uh, because Spray Max, the way they design their cans, uh, they're designed to give a nice big fan um, so you get that perfect uh, you know, result with your clear coat. Um, so I really, really like their tips. If I was able to buy them in a package or something, um, I probably would do that. Um, I know I can get these tips in bulk that come on the, on the, actual, uh, on the actual spray cans. So, like I said, Spray Max, the best tips out of every any paint can I've ever used, um, ever. So, and I've used a lot of a lot of spray cans in my life. So, and hopefully that will uh, that will help you guys out. To, uh, 2k clear coat so what you're gonna do is it says right on the can shake for two minutes I'm gonna take this uh, little red thing that's in the bottom here you're gonna put it on this pen and you're gonna put it down hold it for 10 seconds shake for another two minutes and then you'll uh, you'll be good to go So first coat of clear is down. It's got like kind of like a semi gloss finish. We're gonna build multiple, multiple coats up on top of this. We're gonna get that nice, deep, rich shine. Um, you know, this is the end part where, uh, you know, myself uh, before I've rushed it in a couple times and you know, you don't wanna rush the end part. I know you may be getting excited. It's almost done. You're, you're proud of yourself and you wanna, you, wanna, you wanna get it out and you wanna look at it in the sun or put it on the truck, but, um, whatever your case may be, car, truck, um, you know, just, just try to take your time. I try to use my phone. Um, so, you know, I'll check what time I finish painting and then I, I won't come back in the garage till 10 minutes later um, or whatever I'm doing in the garage. I make sure I won't come back in here and, uh, and uh, start messing around with it. I always give myself that flash time for a time limit or else I'll just be in here and then uh, I'll have a drip there and stuff like that. So um, best thing is just to follow the amount of time and then uh, go from there. So I 
just laid the last coat and look at these results. You can honestly not tell this is from a spray can. Look at this. Look at it. Look honestly how shiny that is. Look at that. Looks like it just came out of the body shop paint booth. Absolutely spotless, absolutely flawless. And this is what exactly what I love to see, something done at home uh, and it's done well and someone's taken the time and put in the work and the effort and you get professional results. So I'm gonna give this a couple hours um, to set right now, probably about 12 hours um, until I reinstall the plastic piece. Um, just so the paint can harden up a bit. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wait a couple hours and then I'm going to uh, move it off to the side. Then I'll be able to clean up at the garage because at that point, it'll be pretty much dry. Um, I won't be handling it, but I'll just slide it over there. And then uh, tomorrow morning, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and we'll reinstall this. Um, but I'll pick you guys up back up in a couple hours when I move it over there and uh, we can get some better lighting on it uh, once we tear down the paint booth and stuff. But thoroughly, thoroughly impressed. I mean, look at it. Honestly, flawless results. That, <laughs> that, that is from that can in this home garage. Not a professional, don't do this for a living. Professional results in this area, absolutely outstanding. Just goes to show that you can do anything you want as long as you uh, put your mind to it with a little bit of effort. These are the kind of results that you can, uh, that you can get. So here is the bumper 14, uh, 14 hours later um, since we last sprayed it and it's looking absolutely, absolutely incredible. Um, look at the shine um, that's coming through on this. I'm going to install it a little later. I got some work here to do on a different truck and uh, you know, you know, I'm really, really impressed with the results and this just goes to show what you guys can do at home. You know, you guys saw for yourself, you know, paint booth right there, uh, made from plastic. Um, rattle cans, um, spray cans, you know, a little bit of sanding, and uh, these are the kind of results you guys can get at home. Anybody can do it, you guys can do it. All you gotta do is spend the time and, uh, you know, put in the effort, uh, go slow, and uh, you'll get those uh, professional results. So that's gonna conclude today's video, guys. Thank you very much once again for stopping by. I really do appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button on the way out if you guys enjoyed the content. Come back for some more um, videos, and I will see you guys next time.